Hello and welcome to another tutorial. So here we're going to explore the PHP print and echo language constructs. So maybe you're new to PHP and you want to learn what print and echo does, or maybe you just want to consolidate your existing knowledge. So in this session, I'm going to try and cover or answer what does echo and print do, and then also how to use echo and print. So I'll go over some simple examples to try and give you an overview of how to use echo and print and give you some of the limitations of both and also compare them both. So with echo and print, there's no need to go into a massive amount of detail here. These five elements here really outline echo and print. So echo and print are used to output data to the screen. Like most languages, there needs to be a way of actually outputting data to the screen. So echo and print in PHP is used to do that. In much of the PHP literature, it is highlighted the fact that echo and print are language constructs, they're not functions. I suppose in basic terms, that just means that they do not require parentheses at all. However, with echo and print, we can use parentheses and we'll see that in the examples I'll go through this. Another important point to make is that print, unlike echo, is an expression. So basically it can return one. So if you're not familiar with expressions, it's worth uh, delving into literature and understanding what an expression is in PHP. So basically an expression uh, can be evaluated to produce a value, unlike echo, which cannot. So the last point to make really about echo and print is that echo can take multiple values. And again, we'll see that in the examples, whereas print can only take one argument. So in a nutshell, that's pretty much all the information that you'll need to know to get started utilizing echo and print. Uh, so let's go over to some examples and see echo and print in action. So echo can output strings. Notice that we use the keyword echo and then obviously the double or single quotes here and then the string within. So in this example, you can see that we can use echo with parentheses or without parentheses. And in addition to that, we can also pass in HTML. So if I created a simple break here and save, you can see now we can pass that HTML to the page. So with echo, we can also output variables. So here we create a PHP variable, $var, and that equals this string, hello world. And you can notice again that we can echo out a variable with or without, without parentheses. So can you see or spot the problem here in this code? So don't forget that each statement requires you to finish off with the semicolon. So I press save and refresh, and you can see we have the same output again. So what if I wanted to use uh, HTML here? So what I would need to use is I would need to concatenate. So I'd use the dot, and then I want to output a string, in this case, br and press save. So the dot allows me to concatenate so I can use output more than one thing here. So you can see now we've outputted the BR and now we've created a line break. So with that in consideration, you can now see that we can also echo out multiple variables. So here, for example, we can echo out the two strings, hello, and notice that I've included a space here and the variable to world. So if we run this, we get a mistake because again, don't forget to use the semicolons. There we go. And now again, we can also now concatenate this. So we, we have a, a break. So the dot, and there we go. So I previously mentioned that echo can output multiple parameters, whereas print cannot. So here's an example. Notice that we separate the, uh, the parameters with the semicolon. We're outputting strings, so we use the double or single quotes. So we finish off with an example where we place everything together. So we have four variables. Notice this time we've got strings and numbers. And so we can see here, we echo out a h1 tag. We concatenate with variable one, which is welcome to. So that's in the h1 tag. And then we echo out the, 
and then variable two. And then we use a BR, a break, and then we have an example and then a space. And then we echo, echo out the number one or the variable num one and num two. And notice that we also create a, or do some addition and it outputs not num one and also num two. So not 10, 10, it actually makes the calculation and outputs the calculation, which is obviously 10 plus 10 equals 20. So let's have a look at print. So here we utilize print and you notice that it works pretty much the same as echo. In this case, we can output strings. And again, we can also include HTML. We can also output strings and variables. So here you notice that we also can utilize the concatenation and output HTML. And also like echo, we can output multiple variables with or without parentheses. So this is one of the notable differences, the fact that we can output multiple parameters with echo. But if we try this with print, then we receive an error. If I save it, we receive an error. There we go. So we can't pass multiple parameters to print, but we can do with echo. So it's worth noting also that if we use the parentheses with multiple parameters, echoes multiple parameters, then when we refresh, you'll see that we receive an error. So we can't use parentheses if we're passing multiple values to echo. So putting that all together, you can see that we can pretty much do everything else the same as echo. We can print both strings and numbers. And we can also output HTML and utilize the concatenation. A shorthand notation is available for echo. So take this example, I set up a variable and then I echo it out. So instead of having to write echo, etc., we can just write the delimiter open and then equals and then the variable or the string and then the closing of the delimiter. So this would print out exactly the same thing. So that's only with echo. So take a look at this example. What do you think is going to be printed out? So we need to remember that print is not an expression. It has a value of one. So therefore the outcome here will be one, one, because we're going to echo out one and then also print equals one. So therefore, when we refresh, save and refresh, um, we output one. So what about if we add a one here? What do we receive then? Well, we receive one, one and one. So we echo out the one, echo out the print and then also print the one. So we end up with one, one and one. OK, so what do you think is going to be printed out now? So in actual fact, Print is both an expression and it also has priority like an operator, although very low priority. So in actual fact, because print has priority, we're going to see that the print prints out the number first before the echo. So back in my example here, what we're going to see is two plus three equals five and then one echo and then another echo of print. So the answer here is going to be 511. So if I save this and refresh, remove that single, we have the answer of 511. So remember, like I said, print has priority or very low priority. So therefore the number goes at the start before we echo out the one and then the one within the print as it is an expression. So in this tutorial, we've explored echo and print. We've used echo and print to output data to the screen. I've given you multiple examples and we went through these basic so language constructs, not functions, but we can we can use parentheses uh, in most cases unless we're outputting multiple values with echo. So print and echo, they do act very similar in basic terms. Um, 
And remember that print is an expression, so we can output one. And then, like I've said, echo can take multiple values, whereas print only takes one argument. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe, and I'll hopefully see you in the next tutorial.